For decades, many cities in California have enacted bans against cruising, where people parade their custom-built low-rider cars on city streets. But recently, there has been a push to overturn those ordinances, which many argue have been used to unfairly target Latinos. William Brangham reports from... That's because, for the first time in more than 35 years, low riding is legal again. Let's be proud, let's be safe, and let's keep it low and slow. University, who has studied the low rider movement. He says low riding dates back to the 1940s and grew alongside the Chicano civil rights movements in the 1960s and 70s. Having the cars and the people who built the cars, people who drive the cars present, is quite a cultural statement and it's a remi it's a visual reminder and a visual cue about our It was popularized in the famous song Lowrider by the funk band War. All my friends know the low rider. This 1975 hit went to number one on the Billboard R&B charts. It was also made famous by movies like 1979's Boulevard Nights. You've got to live through Boulevard nights. But as its popularity grew, spreading everywhere from Brazil to Japan, lowriders in the U.S. have often clashed with law enforcement, which argued the cars are often illegally modified, block traffic, and drivers were linked to gang activity. There you go. <laughs> okay. For the PBS NewsHour, from the front seat of a hopping 79 Lincoln Continental Mark V, I'm William Brang, California. William is having entirely too much fun. We can hear those cars speaking to us right now. Oh no, tell me something, mom some more. Stop running your mouth, let's go.